this someplace else, babe? Let's go upstairs. Oh, babe, so good. Welcome, Mr. Morgan, to Edward and Cynthia's engagement party. Oh, I see you brought a present. So generous. Have some champagne. Thanks, Butler. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Thanks. And for you? Thanks. Isn't that supposed to be the butler of the richest person in LA? He's a little more easygoing than I thought he would be. Edward Vincent's family dominates LA. We gotta kiss his ass. We've just cracked the password to second floor. Everything is going according to the plan. But still, please be careful, sweetheart. Don't worry, Cho. Whatever it is, I'll steal it. It should be here. This is my last gig with Viper. Once I get this ring, I am out of it. Here it is. There it is. The red staff. Mentions your name as a legendary thief. Viper agents are offline. You gotta be careful. You're still on their leash. What if? Uh, they wouldn't dare. <laughs> I could get out of the British Museum unscathed. Oh my gosh. I only have two more hours before I'm a married woman, so uh, make this count, will you? It's the, it's the bride and she, oh my gosh, she's getting screwed by the best man. Sir, don't get distracted. <sighs> Edward found out about this. I mean, the richest man in LA is getting cheated on on his wedding day. What the fuck are you guys doing? It is what it is. Let's face it, Edward, you don't know how to love a woman. <gasps> Edward, okay, this, baby, this isn't what it looks like, okay? Just please put down the gun. <laughs> Cynthia, why'd you do this to me? You and me, we grew up together. All right, the wedding's off. No, no, please, no. Listen to me, Edward, okay? This is all just one big misunderstanding, okay? My father and I, we've always been good to you. I love you. This, this was nothing, okay? It's you and me. There's no need for that. Cynthia. Okay, I don't need you, father. I don't need you anymore. You know, I think... <clears throat> I'd rather marry a maid than somebody who cheats on their fiance. Are you crazy? She's just a man. I don't care! Uh, can I say something? Can I say something? Uh, so you'd just buy me with a ruby? Why do you have that? You know, are you a maid or are you a thief? You can either marry me or I'll take you to the police. Your choice. I'll marry you, hubby. Did you hear that, Cho? This is crazy, rich people are insane. I heard it all. I'll be there now, and I've got something for you. Oh, thank God, you need to get me out of this. <laughs> what the hell? Isn't the bride a maid? Shh, we're, we're in no place to gossip about the Vincent family. Don't look so happy. I'm gonna get this ring back. <gasps> for yeah. sure. I'll pay for the favor. Mm. Aw, but baby, I'm just starting to fall in love with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I have a surprise coming. What's the surprise? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry for being late. Okay. Let the wedding begin. <laughs> Let the wedding begin. Okay. Yeah. So I have 
this little contract for you uh -huh. that if we divorce, um, I still get to own the ring. That's great. If you're delusional. Well, if you don't want to sign, a fingerprint works too. Huh? You're gonna regret this. Oh, but not today, baby. Not today. Well, congratulations. You are now the owner of Red Staff, which gives you half of my family wealth and half of my legal duties too. We're gonna stick together. Even in prison, prison. <laughs> Cho, you need to get me out of here right now. I don't think that's possible now that you're lady of the house. Are you trying to escape, huh? Uh, what are you doing in here, you pervert? You can't be in here. You are my wife. I have a right to be here and watch you change. What are you looking at? How dare you hit my lover! Cynthia, you cheated on me. Okay, she's the lady of the house. You can't hit her. <laughs> so true. <laughs> now, say you're sorry to her. Yeah, say you're sorry. You know what? You look so cute right now. Wanna go upstairs and make like 10 babies? Ugh. You can shut the fuck up, all right? I, look, I, I never even went through with Wild, okay? In fact, I mistook him for you, that okay? Is it was an honest not true. mistake. That's I, bullshit. Not true. Uh, this guy is so much hotter than Wild. You should get your eyes checked out, girl. What's your name again? Mm -hmm. uh, babe, it's Beta. We got married like 20 minutes ago. Okay, shut the fuck up, Beta. Beta? Cynthia, your parents treated me like a son after my parents died. And I kept my virginity until the wedding. But after what you did, I don't ever want to see you again. What? So just... Get the fuck out, and you know what? Goodbye forever. I, Edward, it's not like that. No, please. I don't. John, get her out of here right now. Miss Butler. Get her out of here. Edward, please get your hands off of me. Go. Goodbye. Bye, bitch. <sighs> Edward, please, it's not like that. So, you're like, virgin. That's cute. But you like watching me change. Shut the fuck up. Please. All right? You can stay here tonight, but tomorrow I want you gone. Uh, can I at least have the red staff? No, you can't have your red staff. What? what? Why don't you keep your word? word? What are you fucking talking about? What is she talking about, John? Uh, something vulgar. Uh, something you're not quite used to in your decent upbringing. I want to know everything about this woman, okay? Dig it up. Dig it up. I don't care. She's mine now. One more clock now. What about tomorrow? Do you want to be off the clock forever, Butler? Sorry, boss. Right away. Okay. Okay. So difficult to find good help these days. I want to know everything about this woman. Okay. Dig it up. Dig it up. I don't care. She's mine now. Right away. Okay. You. I won't give up on the red stuff. <sighs> this jerk live streamed our wedding on Twitter. Now everybody in Viper knows that we got married. Yeah, and it got over one million likes on Twitter. Whoa, Cho, how did you get here? As your sidekick, there's nowhere I can infiltrate. Now look at your phone. <sighs> he photoshopped photos from the wedding. I look pretty. Seriously, can you get excited at something more useful? Like what? It's not like I can escape this mansion. <laughs> I'd get shot the minute I crossed the threshold. That's right. Now the only safe place is actually in this mansion. Even the Viper knows better than mess up with the Vincent family. But I'm still wondering, how did you steal Edward Vincent Hardy in a night? My beauty. Oh, bullshit. I'd rather believe Edward has gone mental. Anyway, um, 
You gotta be careful, big thing. Now that you've caught ties with the Viper. Wait, I think someone's coming. Go, 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 go. Oh, Cho. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I thought your uh, husband too doesn't want to consummate the marriage. Listen, Beta, you and me are gonna be spending a lot of time together. So, might as well get used to it. I'm gonna need that man's help if I want to get out of here soon. Wow, oh, big boy. Keep it down. I've tried, hubby. Hurts, doesn't it? Losing the love of your life? Shut up, Wild. What would you know about it? His bait is just some lowly maid. He'll come back to me. You do love him. Maybe you shouldn't have betrayed him then. Shut up. Okay, listen, my parents fostered him. We grew up together and what's more, Edward and I belong together. And that's something you couldn't possibly understand. Every one of your women, if I have to. You massage as well as you still. <laughs> that feels really good, actually. Oh, shit. Wow. <clears throat> How's that feel? It feels good. Wait <laughs> up. I can't hear you. <sighs> You're like really weak. You should go to the gym. Okay. <sighs> Who are you talking to, huh? Another man? <laughs> okay. Uh, fake marriage aside, I can talk to whoever I want to. I make my own money, so you don't need to worry about that. Right, right, right. But our money is the same money. I mean, we sent a contract in. <sighs> you forget, honey, that when we sign that contract, we share your money, not mine. Okay. <laughs> You're hiding something. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Stop clenching so tight. Sir, Wild and his family are here on a visit. They want you to take the helm on the board. Fuck off, man. Let them wait. Other financial groups are here as well. Without you, meeting can't start. Do I pay the millions of dollars a year to bother me? Come on, Edward. I'm your best friend. You gotta hear me out. Why do you why do you even have this? It's none of your business. That's none of my so, business. Yeah, it's none of your business. You always have it in, okay. even when in bed. You slut! Wow, what are you doing in my room? Get out! <laughs> Finally. The beautiful red stuff. What's the use of it if you cannot get it out of here? But you seem really enjoying staying with Mr. Rich's man, judging from what I saw from the wardrobe. <laughs> oh, it's it's fine. Stop watching me from the wardrobe. Uh. Oh my god. The Viper's car's outside. Get out of here! I know you're here! Beta Yufima, I want her out! Yes, boss. You gotta get out of here and meet them. They will keep torturing you with that chip. Rita, get the fuck out. You don't really believe you're now Mrs. Vincent and can hide in the mansion forever, do you? You despicable man. Hi. Where are you off to, Madden? Rushing to meet your friends? 
You're joking. What friends surround your house with weapons? Do you know how to get to the front gate? I'm so confused by this place. You look nervous. Did someone threaten you? This is the Vincent Mansion. There is no need to panic. It's nothing. Just when you work in this type of field, lots of enemies. I don't tell Edward you saw me. He's just a bartender. He won't understand. <laughs> Victor, you started a company in Hong Kong without my consent. Then you tried to snipe our stock and our branches in the UK, North Korea, and India. Am I right about that? This is slander. Which one of you betrayed me? Well, we don't gotta talk anymore. Uh, guards, take him out back, execute him. Edward, you can't do this to me. I work for your grandpa. It's, it's the way it has to be. All right. There's something that you need to know. Stop yelling at me, you fuckers! I'm coming! Hey, my wife. Where are you going? Give me that back. These people are not to be trifled with. I'm not involving you in this. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? <sighs> this is my place. Don't do that. Ah! Beta! It's okay. Hey, call Dr. Wu right now. I'm gonna kill you. Kill them all. But leave me one. Go. Go. Viper planted a chip that's called Tooth. Ida was stunned by the electric shock released by it. So, when I destroyed the earpiece, I triggered Tooth, and I hurt Beta. Looks like it. Good thing the earpiece is broken. It won't trigger Tooth temporarily. But... But what? The Viper planted the chip when she was just a kid. No way to get out. This woman is no picnic. Very suspicious. I knew she was as vicious as Viper, but it's more complicated than that now. Do whatever it takes to save her, okay? I don't care what the price is, all the best resources in the country, okay? She needs to live. Doctor, if you could do me a favor, I would really appreciate it if you could stay at my house for a few days, watch over her. Thank you, thank you. Catch that ball guy. Yeah. But the one you asked us for is not found yet. Do whatever it takes to find him. I want him dead for what he did to my woman. You motherfuckers! Do you know who you're messing with here? Do you know who I am? I guess you got a pretty clear idea of who you're messing with, right? Edward Vincent? Oh, I uh, I didn't know. I uh, I'm nobody in Viper Club. I don't know anything. You know nothing. You know that makes a lot of sense because I think that was your car parked right outside of my house, right? And wasn't it you who threatened my wife? Was it you with the loaded guns outside of my own fucking home? Was that you? Am I right about that? Am I fucking right about that? You know, ma'am. I'm gonna mess up your face so fucking bad that your own mother isn't even gonna recognize you. No, l no, listen. I don't know anything. I'll say anything you want. Let's get started. Yeah. Let's get started. No! God! Ah! This is the confession of the bald man. All he wants is for Edward to stop torturing him. Hmm. Speak. Pastor Edward, it is consistent with our investigation 
that Beta Euthema, a genius, was smuggled into Viper on a way to take part in a physics competition. She was only six then. Let me kill her. I know you don't want to be a murderer. You never would, so I can do it for you, okay? Just please, come back to me. When did you become a heartless woman who kills the innocent? I would do anything for you, Edward. Okay, just please give me another chance. It's you and me. This is the end game, okay? I know you haven't fallen for her stupid games. It's just, please. That's enough. I don't want to hurt you. Listen to Cynthia, just, just go. No. Miss, please leave, or I'll call the security. You can stop pretending I know you're awake. You don't like it if I watch your relationship issues? You know, you're the woman who went into LA's underground to save me, so, and you're my wife. You're allowed to listen to my relationship issues. Right, but you said I'm leaving tomorrow? I changed my mind. You can do me a favor if you can get Cynthia out of, out of my life. I can do that for $5 million. I can do that for $5 million. Okay. Cash. I can write you a check. No, cash only. I wanna see it with my own eyes. Why? You may think because I'm a thief, I have a lot of money, but I haven't seen a dime for myself since forever. So I want the $5 million in cash. Okay. Your wife is beautiful, but it's like Cynthia, she's only here for money. Your money. You know, Wild, when I first became in charge, you took a bullet for me. And I was indebted to you for that. But when you seduced my wife, that's when our friendship was over. Whatever these women are doing for you, I can do too. You're really gonna trade your entire future for some woman, right? She's manipulating you for your money. Which of us is gonna help you grow your business empire? Her or me? I would. I mean, obviously I would. What are you here to grab my attention, woman? <laughs> you wish. I mean, have you looked in the mirror recently? Ugly's not my type. You. But Edward over here, I mean, he's smoking. You must be really jealous. Okay, that's enough. Wild, just go. No, <laughs> you're a bitch. Hmm. Didn't you say you have your own business empire? You took his five million, but I bet that's only your pocket money. Obviously. I'm sure you've heard of the crown jewel of the Spanish Acquisition, the pearl lost in the fire of Notre Dame, and the lost painting in the Picasso Art Exhibition. I'm sure you know who Euphemia is, the best art auctioneer in the world. You're Euphemia. You're clearly blind as a bat, and I don't give a fuck, so get the fuck out of here. Well. You don't seem impressed. Is it because I didn't mention the red staff on top of all of my other trophies? Here's your medicine, miss. Mm. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> so, do you know the history of the Red Staff before you traced to it? A little. I mean, I was more interested in the value of it. It was carved by British royalty and then framed in platinum and gold. <laughs> it's, it's sheer art. Well, it's a pretty good story. It's important to me if you want to hear it. Okay. During the Second World War, my grandfather enlisted into the army. He, uh, in a great battle, stole the ring off of a German officer at that time and used it to propose to my grandmother. My grandmother said no, of course. Many years later, my grandfather was out at sea on the uh, Bristol Bay coastline and his ship was taken captive by pirates. And then who would be the captain of that ship? No other than my grandmother, of course. Mm -hmm. He works as a slave on that ship for two years and he finally wins her over. He then returned back to land with her. <laughs> I mean, it's a romantic story, but this ring doesn't belong to me. It's Cynthia's, so. Hmm. Ever and I... <laughs> Um, I got you something. What? Come in. Cho? <gasps> Oh my gosh, thank you, Edward. Yeah. You look perfect. <laughs> so, um, what you gonna do? Split them up? I have to break Cynthia and Edward up. You actually end up being pretty nice. Oh my god. You're taking them in. Did you have sex? Was uh, he good? No, we didn't. We just talked all night. <laughs> A rumor had it, you hooked up. Do you believe me or the rumor? All right. Then you break them off and seal Edward up in your pocket. How that sound? I can't. You're still scared of Viper. That damned organization. If I stay with Edward, I'm a time bomb. But if Viper asks me to steal his family secrets, I can't defy them. If I do, I... Um, You're dead. I know what to do, Father. This time, I won't let you down. You better be. Keep Edward to yourself. Keep our family 